Good morning, Peninsula High School. My name is Brianna Kirkar. Our top stories today, college visits, winter guard, weather, this week's sports with PC and Olivia. All this more coming up on Peninsula News. two college visits. The first being Hawaii Pacific on Wednesday at 1245 and the University of Redlands will be here on Thursday at 830 in the College Career Center. Stop by there if you have any questions. Want to join the Winter Guard with a combination of dance and spinning colorful flags to create dazzling routines. You're sure to have an amazing time. If you're interested, please sign up on the final forms and join us on Mondays and Wednesdays at 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. Starting on November 13th at the Harbor Ridge Middle School. Don't forget to con congratulate the PHS Marching Band on their first place vision in the Division I of the Sunset Festival in Vans on, in summer this last Saturday. They were also awarded Best Music, Best Percussion, Best Color Guard, and Best Drum Major in, for the division. They additionally placed second overall, overall in the competition. We are so PHS proud of you. We'll send it off to the field with your upcoming weather. On this week's weather, today will be showers with a high 53 and a low 48. Thursday has a 68% chance of rain with a high 58 and a low 49. Friday will be partly cloudy with a high 58 and a low 47. On Saturday, there's a 66% chance of rain with a high 54 and a low 47. On Sunday, there's more showers with a high 55 and a low 48. That's it for this week's weather. I'm Isabella. Back to you, Brianna. And now with this week's sports, here is PC and Olivia. Thank you, Brianna. This week in PHS Girls Sports. Your girls soccer team hosted Gig Harbor and Timberland two weeks ago. They tied Gig 1-1. Stella Conklin pulled off the only goal of the game with an assist by McKenna Gitz. No goals were scored during the run of play by game. They took a 4-2 win for senior night. Two seniors scored, McKenna Gitz and Stella Conklin. Ella Coates and Haley Schreid scored the other two goals. They played Prairie High School this past Saturday to secure their spot in state. They won 1-0 by a goal by McKenna Gitz in the second half. Go Hawks! Cross Country began their postseason two Thursdays ago with their conference championship. Electra Higgins took home the win for the second year in a row. She beat the second place girl by a whole 45 seconds. As a team, they placed third. Nine girls continued on to districts this Saturday. Cecily Albright, Anya Bierman, Ella Erickson, Electra Higgins, Haley Howard, Suri Sardina, Annie Stafke, Lola Sweet, and Emma Tibbetts. Electra Higgins took home the win at districts with a time of 17-24. Cecily Albright, Haley Howard, and Lola Sweet all qualified for state individually. As a team, all nine of them qualified. State is this Saturday in Pasco. Go Hawk Runners. Hawk Volleyball is crushing it right now. They beat Yelm in a flat out three sets and they played Timberline on Monday for a senior night. They will round out their regular season tonight versus Gig Harbor. Good luck volleyball. That covers it for this week. I'm from the PHS Sports Desk. I'm Olivia with your Peninsula News Sports. Back to you, Brianna. For more information about the world we live in, here is Abba Miranda. Hey guys, it's Abba Miranda with your weekly scoop of What's Up World. Rebellious Lake Tahoe black bear known as Hank the Tank has finally been captured. The reason why this is such a big deal is because Hank the Tank was believed to have been responsible for at least 21 home invasions. When local biologists discovered and mobilized Hank beneath the Tahoe Keys home, they discovered that Hank the Tank is not a male bear, but just a really large girl bear, previously known as Bear 64F. Hank the girl also had three cubs in tow who may have been responsible for devouring a two gallon tub of ice cream from a neighbor's trash can. While most conflict bears, like Hank, are euthanized, the public came to the defense of this bear and blamed the conflicts on habitat encroachment and unsecured garbage cans. Even Colorado Gover Governor Jared Polis tweeted a welcome to Henrietta the Tank. Hank, or Henrietta, is planned to be relocated to a sanctuary in Colorado and her three male cubs will be rehabilitated. I'm Ab Miranda, and that's what's up with the world. Back to you, Brianna. That wraps it up for this week's broadcast. My name is Brianna Kirker. I've been joined by PC, Olivia, Ava, and Isabella. Behind the scenes, thanks to our broadcast director, Andrew Kavenko, Gwen Bean, Mr. Mick, Noah Jones, and student leaders. And a big thanks to all of you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you here next week on Peninsula News.